Since 1947, the World Affairs Council has become the preeminent global stage for world leaders and the public to inform, engage, and debate the most important issues of our time. It's your world. Get to know it. You brought up, uh, you may have saw, seen in Dr. Hoffman's slides something called RECAP. That's a regional cooperation against sea piracy, or sea robbery and piracy. And it's a cooperative uh, movement by Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, and Singapore to start uh, establishing maritime security areas, sharing uh, patrols, uh, and starting to actually go out and deter uh, forces. Also, co the commander of the Pacific Fleet uh, provided these three countries communication capabilities so that they can start exchanging inter information. I can tell you that that just didn't happen. Uh, the three countries have a long history and challenges of cooperating with each other uh, simply because their histories are, are, uh, are one of contest anyway. But uh, because of outside and external forces, particularly the United States and Japan, offering to establish maritime patrols in that area, that provided a lot of motivation for those countries uh, in order to start cooperating. With CTF-150, you know, and, you know, began in 2002 off the Horn of Africa uh, to intercept arms. They were intercepting small dows repeatedly uh, loaded with uh, AK-47s and RPGs to arm uh, the militias ashore in Somalia. Uh, there are weapons coming up from Kenya. Uh, there are uh, weapons coming through Ethiopia as well. So there's you know, if you've got money to buy weapons, um, there's ways to get weapons to you. So, that, um, but, um, um, and again, it doesn't, they're not huge shipments, uh, but, but small dows can carry a lot of, uh, uh, you know, can trickle in a number of weapons that you can store up in, in husband. And, and these militias, you know, the pirates, we're not talking, you know, divisions of pirates. We're talking, you know, hundreds of pirates, which doesn't require too many munitions and and you can discreetly uh, smuggle uh, no actually I mean that that is something that does happen and, and it, it happens in industrialized countries as well there was just recently a um, a vessel that was uh, hijacked somehow in the Baltic Sea and then disappeared and wound up off the coast of Africa um, never with really a good explanation of how or why that happened we know the Russians were involved we don't know exactly how but uh, most of the vessels nowadays have a uh, security alarm system on board. And, you know, we, we would have some notice of the geographic location of that vessel. So that, that really is not something that, uh, you know, that we're concerned about. Uh, the other thing, too, is that we, we track our vessels uh, frequently. As a matter of fact, we uh, have position updates from them every uh, one to two hours. And uh, if a vessel, for whatever reason, doesn't uh, doesn't show up on the grid, we can sound the alarm right away. So uh, I don't really think that's a realistic issue for us.